Hi guys, welcome to Beauty and the Dab. Hello all my baked beauties, how are you today? So today's video is going to be a fall themed purple glam kind of makeup tutorial. It's going to be drugstore, so it's going to be affordable for all my beautiful babes to be able to accomplish this makeup look. So if you are interested, just stay tuned and let's get on. Okay guys, so before we actually get into this video, since my name is Beauty and the Dabs, it's only fitting to have a dab, right? So while I'm heating this thing up, I'm gonna ask some questions. I just need to get to know my baked beauties a little bit better. So, uh, leave me down in the comments, drop your location, as well as what age did you become a makeup lover? So yeah, drop those two answers down in the, quest in the comments and I'll get to know you guys each better. I promise I will answer, uh, respond to every single comment on there. Now with further ado, take a dab of G-Force. Let's get the show on the road. So I like to mix primers. So I'm going to be using the Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer and as well as the Elf Poreless Primer. I use the First Aid Beauty one around my face where I am dry. So if you didn't know, you didn't have to use one primer all over the face. You could definitely spot primer your face So, and then I'm going to use just the tiniest little bit of the e.l.f. And I stick this one on my nose and I will press it into those pores. And my cheeks. Because this is where I have the biggest pore. Okay, let's start on the base, guys. So, today I am going to be using the Candid, Revlon Candid. Uh, photo ready this is natural finish anti-pollution foundation and this is in the number 130 and I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand with my sponge and we're going to dab it all over the face I like to start in the inside and then blend out and then the forehead so I always like to do probably half my face first and then I'll do the other half because I don't know that's just how I've always done and I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand with my sponge dab 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 oops I think we're gonna go for one more layer. Especially in the spots that it I have breakouts. And now uh, this foundation I find that if you um what's it called? You let it sit and soak into your face for a few minutes, it's gonna dry down and you won't have to use as much powder. So I always let this sit down for a few minutes on my face. Once I'm done, don't forget the neck. Most important part, a lot of people forget the neck and then you get a ring around your neck. So like I said, I'm sorry if I'm looking in the mirror. I'm kind of hold, trying to hold it into the camera so that you can see that I'm holding it. So now that that is sitting on the face for a few minutes, I'm going to get my the little concealers ready. Now I'm going to be using the Candid, um, Revlon New Candid uh, Concealer as well. And this one is 005. 
and it's called Fair. Now this is a little too dark for me still for like under the eyes. So I'm going to be taking this LA Girl Pro Concealer, Pro Conceal um, Corrector in flat white. And then uh, let this sit on the face just for a few seconds. And I like to start from the bottom and then go to the eyes last. And I just get the eyes to sit there for a few minutes and become a little bit thicker and creamier and warm up a little bit. Sorry if I keep looking away. This is a little harder than I thought it would be. I definitely need to get a tripod. And that is what I am planning on getting next weekend. So. Okay, and then I will take my Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. And I will take another Beauty Butter. Make sure you don't get it in your eyeball like I just did. It doesn't feel good. All right, so the next one. This is so much easier to hold. And you can see so much more. Mm. And then take the powder. Make a silly face. And then I like to take the powder again and just press it on my eyelid. And now my eyelid is both primed and set for eyeshadow. Okay, so then I also take the Beauty Blender a little bit more, dip it in the powder on everywhere that I had highlighted with the concealer. Now, I am not somebody who does cream concealers. I can never get it to work. It looks so gross on me. So, I just bronze with, and then a contour with like a little bit of a lighter bronzy color. So. Well, I mean not orangey, like a more grayish tone. Okay, so then I will take that my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I really love it for powder. And I just press it into my face wherever I didn't bake. Okay. Don't forget the neck. Otherwise you'll have a sticky neck. And then you can also blend away the bake off the nose, the chin. And you just want to make sure you pat and you don't um, actually rub in circles. Otherwise, you could disturb the makeup that's underneath the skin. <sighs> okay, so the next thing that I do is my eyeballs. And we are going to be taking the first palette that we're using today. And that is going to be the Physician's Formula Butter. This is the Tropical Days. It has seen better days. My kids have gotten a hold of it. Do never let your two-year-old touch your makeup. This is what happens. Okay, guys, so. I am going to take this brush here from SL Miss Glam and this is the SS57 and I'm going to take it in the pink shade here tap it away I need a mirror for this because I can't see in there and I can't see obviously in the little camera part so and just in the crease 
So this is gonna be transition. Okay. And next eyeball, tap tap. And now with these ones, I find that they are very dusty. They smell amazing. But uh, if you just work with them, the payoff is really good. They're very buildable and easy to blend. So now that we got a little bit of a transition going, I'm going to take the next palette, which is the Elf Octopus, bleh, Octopus Opposites Attract. And I'm going to be taking um, Spicy. Or no, cheeky, which is right here. I'm just gonna da 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 da, and then I'm gonna grab my mirror again, and we're just going to blend it right on top of that first color from the physician's formula. Sorry, when I uh start doing makeup, i just get into it. Okay, so next, we gotta do the next eye. And I'm just kinda like blending and putting it down at the same time. So we're going in windshield wiper motions, and then just every once in a while, a little swirl there. Okay. So I need to go up a little higher. Yeah, just go down a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, so now those, blah, 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 those are our transition colors. The next color that we're going to use is we're going to go and make this more purple. So we're gonna be taking out of Opposites Attract again, we're gonna be taking the easygoing color right here. On the same brush. And right here. We're just gonna pat it. Now guys, I'm just making this up as I go along. That's how it is with most of my makeup looks. This purple is a little hard to blend. I might need to take a different brush. Let's just see. We're gonna put this one on first. And because when you do to one eye, you gotta do it to the other eye. Otherwise, your eyes are gonna look different. So even if that means you use one brush on one eye and then you changed it because it didn't look good you gotta still do that one brush on the other eye i found that out the hard way okay so i'm going to take a different brush i'm going to take the firma 204 and i'm going to try blending this out first I'm not a big fan of this color. Okay. Okay, guys, so I have really decided that the purple is not gonna do. This one is a no-no color for this palette. I love this palette, but not that color. That was the first time I've tried that color. So we are going to put in some of the Fission's Formula, the red one, just to deepen that up a little bit so I can add some different colors into it. Okay. So I've got this on a blending bag, knock knock. And then where's my mirror? Here it is. Let's get on that. Let's see if we can save this look. 
Well, at least it's blending with this color nicely. Right. And then darken that V in your eye. And now the next side. Like I said earlier, you wanna make sure that you use every single brush and every single color that you use on the other side. That is the best way to make them symmetrical. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot better, guys. So much better. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white, my Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush, but I use this for concealer. And this is from Joe Fresh. So if you don't know what Joe Fresh is, Joe Fresh is Superstore's version uh, makeup is makeup line. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna do kind of like a cut crease almost, but not really. And then I'm just putting this here so that my next color sticks really nice and pops out. Sorry guys, I know I just totally covered that up. Always make sure you look down and then fix it to where it needs to be, okay? And then a little bit, and now I'm going to take the purple, the star of the show, which is this one right here from Essence Palette Ola, Ola Ria, or Rio, sorry. And this is the eyeshadow palette number four. So there is no names in this eyeshadow palette, but it's just the deep purple one right here. And I use my finger for this. Okay, okay. Cotton wipe and wipe that off, and this is what it looks like so far. Next thing that I'm going to do, so I'm going to add. I'm going to take my Farah brush, my 35E brush, and this is a really fluffy. So much better. Okay, so the very next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the center of my eye and I'm going to take the gold out of the palette. Actually, I'm going to darken this just a little bit more and I'm going to take the deep shade right here out of the palette. I'm just going to make this a little bit more darker and a little bit more purple. Okay. Now for underneath the eyes, I like to take my little point brush here and this is the e.l.f. brush and this is 202. And I'm going to take the gold shade in that So I'm also going to take my setting spray. This is the Essence Better You Better Work. There we go. That's the payoff I'm looking for. Okay, so I think I'm only going to do under the eye halfway. And I'm going to take my 
what is this, e.l.f. eye contour brush. And I'm going to dip it in this dark color in the Olay palette first. And we're gonna smudge the bottom just halfway. And then connect, of course. I always wanna make sure you connect it. Sugar eyeliner. This is the Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Cool in Green Light. And I'm going to just take my waterline. Okay. And now for my eyelashes. Where's my curler, curler, curler? I'm going to take my Uno eyelash curler. And this is my eyelashes for curl. Okay, so I'm just going to take the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now this one is very old and is almost used up. But what I love about this mascara is it gives you such nice long lashes. Oh, I forgot to do eyeliner, guys. Duh. Okay, so let's quickly do that. We're gonna let this eye dry first so the mascara doesn't smudge. And I'm going to take my Essence Super Lash, Super Last Eyeliner in Deep Black. Now what you want to be careful with with this eyeliner is you need to let it dry. Otherwise, you're going to get mask eyeliner on your lid and it's going to be very hectic to get it out. Maybe one day I will show you, do a video on how to fix something like that. If you guys are interested, in, let me know down in the comments. And I can do a video on how to fix your makeup when it's completely done, but your eyeliner gets stuck on the lid. So I'm just gonna take my fan here quickly to speed up the process. Okay. And now the next eye. So first of all, I'm gonna finish that wing with my Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. Now, I really like This eyeliner and then I don't like this eyeliner as much so I like this eyeliner is it it is kind of easy to do a wing liner with this eyeliner but it is kind of hard to work with this liner so if you're not an experienced eyeliner person I would recommend not using this one I would recommend using the pen Okay, so now while this is drying, I'm going to do the mascara on the other eye. So while this is drying, we're going to work on the face. I'm going to take my, I don't even know what brush this is, but I use this for my contour. 
but it works really nice. So and we're just gonna go into the cheekbone. Okay. And then the chin. Don't forget to move the chin so you can cover up your devil chin. On the head, on my big forehead, we need to conceal this big forehead. So now I'm gonna take this big brush. I've had this for years. I don't know the name of it. And my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. Here. And dab it into the palette. And then the last thing that I do is I take, where is it? This little fish brush right here. And then contour the nose a little bit. Now that that is all done, the only thing left to do is highlight and blush. So I'm going to take this blush here I got in an Ipsy bag and a big fluffy brun a big fluffy blush brush. Oh my goodness. And just in the apples of my cheeks. And then highlighter. Where's my highlighting brush? Where it is. So it is another SL Miss Glam brush, and this is the L35 brush. And just on the High points of your cheeks along the side. That's where I like to highlight. Okay. So now that the face is done, the last, the second last thing that we need to do is the eyebrows. So I was going to do my eyebrows off camera, but I figured. We might as well do them together. So I'm going to take, and I'll show you how I do my eyebrows. So I have a few products that I use. I use the Essence All About Brow, and this is the four in one palette. I use the Wet n Wild, and this is the Color Icon Brow Pencil, as well as the Essence Super Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade pencil so very first thing I'm going to do is brush out my eyebrows so oh and another thing that I use is I put this on the night before is the Maybelline New York tattoo brow and I'll put this on my eyebrows um, before I go to bed I'll sleep with it on um, and then I'll pull it off in the morning and my eyebrows are like a little bit tinted for like four or five days so it says I don't think it's you're supposed to leave it on that long but I do so I don't really have much to do with my eyebrows I could totally leave my eyebrows right now but 
I am somebody who likes dark eyebrows and I'm a full glam person so like this is an everyday makeup look for me some people this might not be an everyday makeup look for um if you're one of those people and you would like to see a more toned down natural version of makeup look just let me know down in the comments and I can make one up okay dokies eyebrows so we brush out the eyebrows and now I'm going to take the 4-in-1 palette and I'm going to take the pomade or the wax or whatever you want to call this I'm just going to put this on my spoolie and we're going to brush this through the eyebrows and this is just going to keep them in that position all day long okay the next thing I do is I'm going to take the same palette and I'm going to take the dark shade and we're going to start up the outer edge of my eyebrow because I like to make this no first thing I'm going to do is outline the bottom of my eyebrow my eyebrows are being wonky today Now I'm going to take my brush with the powder on it. I'm just gonna smooth this. The next step that we're going to do is use the highlight of the brow bolt for the brow bone. And I'm gonna take that little pencil again. Okay. Next eyeball. There we go. Now we're going to take the e.l.f. Um, this is the e.l.f. small angled brush. And then highlight underneath this brow. So now we did lose a little bit of color um, from highlighting and that's when I'll take my fluffy brush from Farrah again. And I will go in with a little bit of that orange again. And just blend it in. Okay. And then I will also take a little bit of this darker brown from, the, or this darker brownie plummy color from Oreo, 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 whatever it's called. And then just a blend, a blend, a blend, a blend. And I'm using like the softest of touches. Like my brush is barely touching my face. So far this is what it looks like okay so now the last step look at my lips a little bit I take a cotton saw and I'll go around my lips take off all the product product and just gonna outline the lips so oh sorry this is the Soft Contouring Lip Liner from 
Essence, and this is in the shade Big Proposal, number eight. And I like to overline my lips. So if you want to do that and make your lips look bigger and fuller without <laughs> like a botched lip procedure done, you're going to outline over, out, overline up in here. But when you come down here, you're going to vent, you're going to want to bring it in. So and it's going to match your your real lip. Okay. Over it here. So my natural lip ends right there. And I overlined it a little bit. The hardest thing to do for a lot of people is the cupid's bow. So another thing, same thing out here. You can definitely overline right here to make your bottom lip bigger. Mine is a pretty big bottom lip as it is, so I don't need to overline it. But if you did need to, you had a small lip. You could overline it right here, but then again, once you get around here to there, you're gonna bring it back up to your natural lip. And that's just gonna make it so much better. So another little trick I like to do is I like to fill in the edges of my lip liner. rub it so that my lip liner mushes in together and it kind of looks like you have your lipstick on already that's the way I like to start it as a base okay so the next item that I'm going to take is from Rimmel London and this is the Pro Provaco lips and this is in the color summer lovin number 215 so you just take the first Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to use the same lipstick, but in the color Make, Make Your Move, and this is 730. Uh, this one's just a little bit darker. Okay, now you're gonna let this dry down because it is an all day. It is a 16 hour wear lipstick, so. And I do have to say that these lipsticks are pretty dang good. As long as you make sure you have the lipstick with you at all times because you need this part throughout the day. Otherwise your lips start to crack and to feel gross. Okay, so while that is drying, we're just gonna set our face. And I'm gonna mix these today. So we're using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3 in 1. This is the prep uh, fixer and refresh. And we're gonna use the Essence You Better Work um, Gym Proof Fixing Spray. And this is sweat resistant and anti shine. So while this dries. I got my trusty fan here. Drew on the face. Okay. 
So I'm just going to do my hair off of camera and I will be back with the end. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out any of my videos. I love you all. Bye.